Welcome to Bashua's Moment with Pastor Charles Chiaga. Yes, praise the Lord, brethren. I'm back again with our program, the Pursuers Moment. And I'm standing right here at the site, uh, the prayer mountain, a mountain that has been dedicated to the cause of seeking God, Zion Prayer, Zion Pursuers Prayer Mountain. As I always tell you, Pursuers is not a church, we are a parachurch movement. And our cause is to mobilize God seekers to encourage as many as are abiding in the different churches to call to have the pursuit of God as a cause in their in their work, in their Christian work. So that so that it's not just enough to join a church and have a fellowship, have a few friends that you interact with. When we made a confession to Christ as Lord, that confession uh, is the journey we began and this journey is for us to know God. So we must take deliberate efforts to actually seek God and such that he may teach us his ways. I want to remind you we shall have independence on the 9th of October. That's the independence day for Uganda. But we as pursuers we decided to say we are going to do it the other way, the opposite way. That day we are declaring dependence on God. We are saying we don't want to be independent. We want to be dependent on God. So as people will be celebrating independence, political independence, and independence in other aspects, for us we shall be celebrating dependence on God. And it's, we call it a depend, dependence on God conference. So that day we are going to spend a whole day here on the, on the 9th of October, from 9 in the morning up to 5 or 4, I mean up to 5 or 6 in the evening, while here studying, learning, praying, worshipping, pr praying, praising in the presence of God because we want to draw close to God. So I encourage you to put it on your calendar on the 9th of October, please come down here. We, are, we want to declare dependence on God. So, I want us to go into our study. Okay? Uh, we are trying to see why should man seek God? In this world, in this temp contemporary world, is there a space f to seek God? Is it still useful? Does man need to seek God? So, we started it right from the, the Genesis. How man came to be and the fact that God thought about him as a special creature and for us to be detached from him uh, creates a lot of uh, uh, disadvantages for us okay so I want us to go back to the scriptures Genesis chapter 2 now we are going to see verses 15 we, uh, yesterday we are talking about the rivers that were flowing in the garden and the rivers were full of gold, and the gold was great, good, and there were so many other precious stones. And I was telling you, in the presence of God, it shall be provided. Like, like Elijah said, on God's mountain, it shall be provided, Jehovah Jireh. When his son asked him, I see we have the firewood, we have the sword, but where is the, the lamb for the sacrifice? He said, on God's mountain, it shall be provided. So on this mountain, God's mountain, in God's presence, the provisions are always there. So no need to worry when we draw closer to God. God will create an environment resourced with everything we need to make it in life. Verses 15 now we are reading. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend it and keep it. Okay? After God planted the garden, put there all sorts of trees, lovely to the eyes, good for food, and trees for, 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 for life, and trees for knowledge of good and evil. And then put there uh, rivers to, to water the garden, put there stones, precious stones, put there gold. Then 
he brought the man whom he had created and put him in that garden. And he told him, he told him that become. In the original translation, that word uh, saying, tend it and keep it, in that original translation, that word means become. Become. So when he put man in that environment, he told him, now you can become. With all the resources around you, you can become anything. In the presence of God, my brother, my sister, we can become anything. You have been a nobody for too long. But make, make up your mind to seek God and draw close to God. God will create an environment and he will order you to become. Before you realize you will be a different person and your generation will wonder what a person you are. So we can become in the presence of God. Let us come in his presence. Let us seek him. Let us come down here craving for him. God will create an environment with every resource for us to become different and for us to, to be able to be profitable to our generation. God bless you. Hey, you give a deep pursuers moment. You could sit work as a pursuers junior school. It is Sangu Mutambala, Kukubari and Pichi Gombe, Katuri and Kizedi Wo, Singo to Arumana who pursuers junior school. Interviews Zawe Dedi, a summary of the Kumsinjo Gutia Katonda, a Tengu Mana Gunjuraba Kuku, Tutumbu Tone Bianja Rumana, Turina Mazama Yoku Somero, a Tengu Mana was Summer and Uyabaka, a Banga Mukungo, India Yava is in Nunjibian Soso, and a married to Jerimira, Ganefamu Yete Wediku Somero, Turina Motokes Tambuzavana, pursuers junior school Rebutamba. Tuso mesaba no kufa mbebi kilas Okutuka kuchibi nechi umusambu Mudene bodingi Okumanyebi singa wo Zero musambu musambu bidi Ana muemu Chienda munana Ana Ne zero musambu zero bidi Asatu mukaga Ana muemu Mkaga munya Pasio was junior school butambala In pursuit of knowledge